Introducing News Time with Mr. Tony Oyatedo. Mr. Tony Oyatedo is a journalist, an author, businessman, an evangelist, and above all, an apostle of peace. News Time, a 30 minute talk show on religious and global affairs centered on Africa and Nigeria in particular. Please enjoy. All thanks and praise and glory to the all-wise, all-powerful, ever-present, gracious, merciful God. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Greetings to you, my fellow brothers and sisters, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, the human race. The topic for today is ungratefulness and disrespect based on scripture and real life please come and go with us to the scripture in the holy bible in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 16 ready read honor get this now Honor, respect, obey, care for your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you so that your days on the earth may be prolonged. Get it? Now let us drive through the book of Judges, chapter 6, verses 1 to 10 in the Holy Bible. Ready? Read. Then the Israelites did evil in the sight of the Lord. Get this now. And the Lord gave them into the hand of Midian for seven years. The powerful hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. Because of the Midian, the sons and daughters of Israel made for themselves the dens, hideouts, which were in the mountains, and the caves, and the mountain strongholds. For it was whenever Israel had sown their seed that the Midianites would come up with the Amalekites and the people of the east and go up against them so they will camp against them and destroy the crops of the land as far as Gaza and leave no sustenance in Israel as well as no sheep ox or donkey for they will come up with their livestock and their tents and they will come in as numerous as locusts but they and their camels were innumerable. So they came into the land to devastate it. So Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites. And the Israelites cried out to the Lord for help. Now it came about when they cried out to the Lord because of Midian that the Lord sent, get this now, the Lord sent a prophet to the Israelites. And the prophet, he said to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel. Now hear this. Mm. I brought you up from Egypt and brought you out of the house of slavery. And I rescued you from the hand of all who oppressed you and drove them out before you and gave you their land and I said to you I am the Lord your God you shall not fear the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live Mm. but you have not listened to and obeyed my voice ungratefulness and disrespect get it 
Uh, now, let us dig in deeper. Let us go to the book of Jeremiah. Let us start from chapter 2, verses 1 to 37. Ready? Read. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and proclaim in the ears of Jerusalem, mm, city of peace, saying, Thus says the Lord, I remember earnestly the loving kindness and devotion of your youth, your time of betrothal, like that of a bride during the early years in Egypt and again at Sinai when you followed me in the wilderness through a land not sown. Israel was holy, something set apart from ordinary purposes, consecrated to the Lord. The first fruits of his harvest in which no outsider was allowed to share. All who ate of it, injuring Israel, became guilty. Evil came on them, says the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, what injustice or unrighteousness did your fathers find in me that they have wandered from me and habitually walked apart and walked after emptiness and futility and became empty? They did not say, Where is the Lord who brought us up from the land of Egypt? who led us through the wilderness, through a land of drought and of the deep darkness, of the shadow of death, through a land that no man or woman passed through, and where no man or woman lived, I brought you into a plentiful land to eat its fruit and enjoy its good things but you came and defiled my land and you made my inheritance repulsive mm. ungratefulness and disrespect even the priests pastors imams, rabbis did not say where is the Lord and those who deal with the law, the Torah, commandments, Sharia, did not know me. The rulers and shepherds, president, vice president, senators, house of representative members, local government chairmen and women, transgressed, sinned against me. And the prophets, preachers, prophesied by the authority and in the name of Baal, uh, native doctors, voodoo. Uh, I remember as recently, United States of America 2020 elections, etc. And they walked after idolatrous things that did not benefit them or the people of the world, Africa in general, Nigeria in particular. And therefore, I will still contend, struggle with you by bringing judgment on you, says the Lord. And I will contend, struggle with your children's children. For crossover to the coasts of Kittim, Cyprus, to the west and sea, uh, send also to Kedah, Arabia, to the east, and carefully observe and consider and see whether there has been such a thing 
as this. Has a nation ever changed gods even though they were not gods but merely man-made objects? Ah, but my people have exchanged their glory. Mm. Shekinah, the true God, for that man-made idol which does not benefit them. Be appalled, O heavens, at this. Be shocked and shudder with horror at the behavior of the people, says the Lord. Uh, get this now. For my people have committed two evils. Mm. One, ungratefulness. Two, disrespect. Uh, they have abandoned, rejected me, the fountain of living water. And they have carved out their own systems that cannot hold water. Is Israel a servant? Is he or she a slave by birth? Why has he or she become a captive and a prey? The young lions have roared at him and her. They have made their voices heard and roared loudly. And they have made his and her land waste. His and her cities have been destroyed and are burned ruins without inhabitants. Mm, sounds familiar? Moreover, the men and women of Memphis and Tapahis has powerful enemies have shaved the crown of your head to degrade you the fundamental question is have you not brought this on yourself by abandoning rejecting the Lord your God when you he led you in the way now what are you doing by going to Egypt in search of an ally mm, to drink the muddy waters of the Nile River? Or what are you doing by going to Assyria in search of an ally mm, to drink the muddy waters of Euphrates? Now hear this. Your own wickedness will discipline you and your desertion of the faith ungratefulness and disrespect will ultimately punish you. Mm. Know therefore that it is an evil and bitter thing for you to abandon, reject the Lord your God and for you to be indifferent to me and dismiss the reverent fear of me says the Lord God of hosts get it? Mm. Ungratefulness and disrespect. For long ago, you broke your yoke in deliberate disobedience and tore off your bonds of the law, Torah, commandment, Sharia that I gave you. You said, I will not serve and obey you. For on every high hill, and under every green tree you have lain down here it is in idolatrous worship like a compliant prostitute a synagogue church and mosque today mm, about native doctor voodoo and cult uh, tomorrow yet I had planted you O house of Israel as a choice vine, a completely faithful seed. How then have you turned against me into the degenerate shoots of a foreign and wild vine alien to me? For though you wash yourself with lime and use much soap, here it is now, the stain of your guilt is still before me and you are soiled and dirty says the Lord God how can you say 
I am not defiled. I have not gone after man-made gods like the Baals, voodoo, cults, etc. Look at your way in the valley. No, without any shadow of doubt, what you have done. You are a swift and restless young female camel in the heat of her passion, running here and there. Or you are the untamed and reckless nature of a wild donkey accustomed to the wilderness that sniffs the wind in her passion for the scent of a mate. Get this. In her mating season, who can restrain her? No males seeking her need to weary themselves. In her month, they will find her uh, looking for them. Seize your mad running after idols. Voodoo. Cults, etc. To keep your feet from becoming bare and your throat from becoming dry. Watch this now. But you said it is hopeless. For I have loved strangers and foreign gods, and I will walk after them. Here it is. As the thief is shamed when he or she is caught, so the house of Israel, worldwide, Africa in general, Nigeria in particular, is shamed. They, their kings, their leaders, a president, vice president, senators, House of Representative Members, Ministers, Local Government Chairmen and Chairwomen, their priests, Imams, Rabbis, and their prophets, who say to a tree, You are my Father, and to a stone, uh, You gave me birth. For they have turned their backs to me, and not their faces. Mm. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise, O Lord, and save us. The question will be, But where are your gods? Voodoo's gods, which you made for yourself. Uh, let them get up, if they can save you in the time of trouble. For as many as the number of your cities are your gods, O oh, Judah, worldwide, Africa in general, Nigeria in particular, why do not your man-made idols run to help you? Why do you complain and contend, struggle with me? You have all rebelled, transgressed against me, says the Lord. In vain I have punished your people with the consequences of their ungratefulness, disrespect, and disobedience. They received no insight from correction and refused to change. Repent, change from bad to good deeds. Your own sword has devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. O oh, generation that you are, consider and regard carefully the word of the Lord. Have I been a wilderness to Israel, worldwide, Africa in general, Nigeria in particular, like a land without food, a land of thick and deep darkness, like a path without light? Why do my people say we have broken loose and we are free to roam at will? We will no longer come to you. Can a virgin forget to wear her ornaments or a bride her attire that identifies her as a married woman? Yet my people have forgotten me. These without number. How well you prepare your path to seek and obtain adulterous love. Even the most wicked of women have learned indecent ways from you. 
also on your skirts is found the lifeblood of the innocent poor. You did not find them breaking in a house. But in spite of all these things, your disobedience, your love of idolatry, your lack of compassion, your ungratefulness and disrespect, yet you keep saying, I am innocent. Hmm. Surely his anger has turned away from me. Behold, listen very carefully. I will bring you to judgment and plead my case against you because you say, I have not sinned. Mm. Why do you go around and wonder so much, changing your way? Also, you will be ashamed by Egypt as you were ashamed by Assyria. From Egypt also, you will come away as captives with your hands on your head. For the Lord has rejected those in whom you trust, mm, confide, and you will not be successful with them due to your ungratefulness and disrespect. Mm -hmm. Now here it is. Primitive acquisitions. Bill Gates, the second richest man in the world, has one house in Seattle, Washington, United States of America. Warren Buffett, the third richest man in the world, still lives in the same house he bought for $31,000 in 1958, 62 years ago in the year 2020. But so many Africans in general, Nigerians in particular, buy houses everywhere in the world, own tens of luxury cars what millions of dollars own private jets aircrafts etc but no single business investments or community development projects my 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 what wickedness so many millionaires in california silicon valley and in san francisco live in apartments flats and ride public transport get it Africans, Nigerians, primitive acquisition. Good and compassionate leadership is the people's first, last, and only hope for resolving problems in all nations. Africans are not trauma-informed or trauma-sensitive. Africa has self-generation, I take it again, Africa has self-generated disasters instead of natural disasters. Each and every one must turn lemons into lemonade and pain into purpose. Mm. Here is, allegation does not mean guilt. It is so bad and humiliating to have not just allegations but speculations spread around the world. Gossip always thrive in the absence of real information. Rumor mills come due to fabricated stories. Mm. Mashallah, those responsible must be held accountable. Get this, more than 37 million people in the United States of America, including 11 million children, struggle with hunger. And as the COVID-19 pandemic mm. continues, that number is increasing. Getting good and compassionate leadership in Africa is a long-distance race. Mm. But making the leadership work for the good of the people uh, is a crawl. Youths in Nigeria are trapped, jobless, and bored. They are wasting away due to leadership without compassion. Jobless youths daily stare into space no hope they are literally trapped in their own excrement you wonder why there is kidnapping armed robbery ritual killings cultists etc the entire country is an open air prison for the youths they are trapped in total darkness 
in the Niger Delta, the riverine areas that once brought fish, food, and relief is now so polluted by oil and gas waste fumes and flaring. The people die daily of untreatable illnesses. Nigerians must know and understand that sometimes misfortune is a prelude to greatness. Now hear this. As human beings, leadership, politicians, doctors, lawyers, journalists, broadcasters, engineers, nurses, pharmacists, IT specialists, mechanics, vulcanizers, business people, athletes, preachers, rabbis, pastors, imams, boxers, etc. You must come to the knowledge that to win in life and to win in any endeavor, we must learn how to lose gracefully. One of the most difficult lessons any endeavor can teach is how to lose gracefully and accept defeat and disappointment. We all love to win, but in life, everybody does not win always. Everybody loses sometimes. You can be the best at what you do and still lose. You have to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and try and try again and again. Do not be a sore loser. Admit your defeat and try harder next time. Also, defeat gives you time to correct your mistakes and start all over. In life and in all endeavors, you must admit your defeat and not make excuses. Uh, take your medication and move on. A better and brighter day is coming. Just do it again and again. Get this. No doctor cures every patient. No boxer wins all the time. No lawyer wins every case. Uh, and also, no preacher will preach the best sermon every time, etc. Just remember, the sinless one, the Prince of Peace, the Jesus Christ, Anabisa, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christo, said, no one, absolutely no one is perfect. Only the Creator, Almighty God, is perfect. When you know that, then you will know that to lose is to win. Just like failure teaches you how to succeed. Mm. In closing, leadership must provide security by promoting peace. With peace, there is security. Every nation and people that embrace peace dwelt secure and well content in all aspects. Once again, thanks for taking the time and trouble to listen to News Time. Please join us next week for another fascinating topic that will leave you scratching your head. Please send us your questions and comments. Be a partaker and a participant in this glorious endeavor to bring peace that brings security and prosperity to the entire world. May peace and blessings be upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatu Allah. Shalom. Thank you for listening to News Time with Mr. Tony Oyatedo. And until next time, peace attracts development.